That's how it's done in Ear to the Ground on Thursday at 8.30. But now on RT1, Sarah makes a decision that sends shockwaves through Shortland Street. Whoa, do you know how to put that stuff in? We don't try, Sophie. This guy could bleed to death. I did something today. I went to the IVF clinic in Wellington, and I pretended to be Cindy, and they transferred the embryos. I'm going to be a surrogate mother after all. I know this is a shock, and I know you disapprove, but this is a good thing. I'm bringing a new life into the world, a child for a couple who can't have children, a child who we love so much. How can that be a bad thing? Talk to me, Hunter. I, uh, I think I need to think about it for a while. Perhaps we could, we could go somewhere. I need to go for a walk by myself. <clears throat> Dr. Moyo, I presume. I uh, don't think I introduced myself when I inadvertently ate your lunch. You wish to apologize? More. I was hoping we could put a misunderstanding behind us. An apology without actually saying the words, I'm sorry. Exactly. My name, by the way, is Kip Denton. I can read. Right. And um, that whole thing about me calling you a Zulu before, I wasn't being racist. No, <laughs> I wasn't saying that Zulu was a bad thing. Just that one day I might put on a loincloth, pull out my spears and hunt you down like a wild pig. <laughs> you see, this is good. We're joking like old buddies. In fact, hey, why don't you move into my place? No, 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 not in a gay way. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you need cheap accommodation, if you're over the backpackers, dodgy tourists on a budget, nicking your jocks from the communal laundry, that sort of thing, then there's a spare room at mine which you're welcome to. That's all I'm saying. Room you, welcome. Thank you for the offer. I'll consider it. Oh, good. Uh, hey, it's been a while since I saw a smile on your dial. Well, I'm a single gal again. And that's good news? Well, single doesn't necessarily mean unwanted. Got the uh, pamphlets back from the printers. They look great. Oh, great. Go ask. Well, you two are getting on much better. Mainly boss's orders, but yeah. So, uh, Sarah said it's okay to tell you we're, um... We're pregnant. Dude! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this isn't how it looks. What was that all about? Uh, nothing important. I just have to convince him I'm not gay, get him to move in, or give Chris Warner back a whole pile of money. Did I mention I might get a flat, mate? No. Yeah, that new guy, Xavier, he's okay, right? You stole his lunch, you insulted him, and now you want him to move in. Sure, why not? This is you trying to prove how not racist you are, right? Me and the Zulu had a chat, and apart from him thinking I'm gay, we get on great. Hey, maybe I should invite him out for dinner. Yeah, would you cook? I'm having a girls' night at Shanti's. Cook for him yourself. No, then he'd definitely think I'm gay. So, you and the girls shall be in your PJs, sitting on the bed, eating chocolate, slipping under the covers, snuggling and up. Pebbles, I am never going to have a lesbian threesome for you, okay? Oh, come on, Trace, where's the give and take? I'd have a lesbian threesome for you. Mm. So, anyway, you won't be uh, sleeping much when the lights go out. The hypnosis worked. I don't need the lights on to sleep. You slept last night, true, but you were talking in your sleep, mumbling on about a broken swing or something. Mm, what is with me in that swing? Apparently I called Shanti about it the other night. Well, in your sleep. Are you ready to discharge that Colombian girl yet? Uh, yeah, I'll just write her up a script. Um, I just have to pop out. Are you okay? Yeah, um, I'm fine. I'll be back soon. Should I go after her? Uh, no, she'll come right. So 
Murphy tells me you saved the boy's life. Uh, so that he can go straight to the slammer of his neck and some lady's handbag and ran in front of a truck. Yes, Sophie told me the whole story, but apparently uh, you're saving the best part to tell me yourself. I enrolled for a Bachelor of Health Science, so I'm going for mid-school. Oh, son, that is great news. I couldn't be happier. <laughs> you told your mother yet? I think she's about now, okay? Oh, good. Morgan's been a very good influence on you. Look, let's celebrate later. I'll take you and your girl wherever you want to go, all right? Sweet. Thanks, Dad. Okay. She's brought a karaoke game. <laughs> uh, I sing like someone gargling broken glass. So no, you'll stay in tune. So is it just missing Scotty? Or do you get spooked? Oh, it just feels strange to be by myself. So, uh, thanks for coming over. I would have felt foolish suggesting it myself. Not at all. I know what it's like to want a bit of security. Oh, say, so just chill. Tracy's an ex-cop and I'm meaner than a junkyard dog. Tonight, you can just relax In local and... news, the White Towers are again in the spotlight as gang leader Kane Harvey was granted bail this afternoon, despite strong opposition from the police prosecutor. The police, whose recent crackdown on the gang resulted in over two dozen arrests, have argued that the public safety should take priority. Defence lawyers argued the case against Kane was circumstantial and no evidence or witnesses were presented to the contrary. Mr Harvey's lawyer added that their client had... Don't freak. They'll get him. They already got him. Now they're letting him go. He's still facing charges. He'll still go to jail. In the meantime, he's free to find me. Not tonight, at least. Not here. Oh. Uh, Potsy, for 20 points, old geezer short of breath, slight temperature, but his chest is clear. Uh, your first thoughts? Well, there's a virus going around the rest home. Could be subclinical viral pneumonia, maybe. Uh, is he on anything? Uh, just the usual truckload of pills, just about lives on aspirin and vitamin C. Alright, uh, hold up the x-ray. No, there are no white streaks that might indicate viral pneumonia, and, um, no, his white cell count's normal. Ah, note the pH. Oh, yeah, slightly acidotic. Yeah, my guess is that he's crunching way too much aspirin and vitamin C. Mm, good one, boss. Oh. What do you need the lure again? Yes. Well, go. We're fine here. And Mrs. Perez. I started to feel worse, I'm afraid. Um, cubicle one, thanks. The secret to caviar is that the cheap stuff is identical to the stupidly expensive stuff. Mind getting that for me? I prefer the no-name family brands myself. It's your stalker. Brooke, come in. What's going on? Brooke is currently homeless, so I'm invited to stay. Forgetting to mention that you'd be here. I live here. He's just in time for dinner. I thought we were having a quiet night then together. We are. Just the three of us. There's a cheap hotel about two blocks down. Don't be mean. Just throw your things in the spare room. You just forgot to mention this? Chris kicked her out and I felt sorry for her, that's all. It looks like a UTI, but there's no dysuria, just generalised abdominal pain with mild diarrhoea and a cough thrown in for good measure. Mm -hmm. Where did you say Sarah was? Uh, she with a patient in x-ray, uh, just in case they needed a doctor. OK, but repeat her urine and do further blood, see if anything's changed. we Will do. And I might just stick around till Sarah gets back. Oh, gee, thanks, but um, we're fine, really. I mean, yeah, we're not that busy. Just the same, just the same. I'll, uh, I'll do the girls' bloods. so good. Oh, it's just a tummy bag. Can I get you anything? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. You, you carry on. I think 
Noise control just shut us down. We've had so many blackouts in this place. Still having trouble with the electrics then. Still having trouble with everything. I'll be missing you already. It's just a wrong number. What the... Auntie Ronnie and I heard it yesterday. I think it must be a cat. I could have sworn that that was a baby. Same. It's not just us without power. Our neighbourhood's out. It came from the old fireplace. Well, how on earth did it get in there? The chimney? Does it have a chimney? No idea. Oh, poor thing. How are we going to get it out? Only one way, I'm afraid. You bash a hole in the jib. There's that much to fix already. One more hole wouldn't make a difference. Got a big hammer. Ah, uh, gentlemen, thanks for dropping by. Mystery disease for you. Colombian Taurus, mildly unwell since she's been here, but became acute today, despite commencement of antibiotics for a suspected UTI. I was wondering if Dr. Moyo might have some insight into a possible tropical disease pathology. I'm from Zimbabwe, a long way from the tropics, I'm afraid. Where's Sarah? Held up in x-ray, apparently. So you're officially in the family way? I'll do a pregnancy test in two weeks, but fingers crossed. How does it feel? Is it, is it weird? No, it's just nothing. Nothing yet. When are you going to tell Hunter? I already did. What, did it not go well? Yeah, okay, what am I saying? Could it possibly have gone well? How bad was it? He walked off and he hasn't called me since. I'm guessing that means bad. Hun, what's going on? Keep a call and said you disappeared. Oh, well, as you can see, I'm still here. I'm still standing. Jeez, you look pretty rough. I spent most of the shift drawing up, and um, the other good news is that my right hand has started to go now, too. Let's just get you home, OK? Soon. I'll just finish up, and then I'll catch a taxi. No, no, come now. I'll see you in an hour. Well, it's a fibroid, but hardly large enough to cause a problem. Oh, sorry, I was caught up. Um, a Colombian girl came back. Oh, the query UTI. Hey, except it's not. There's a small benign fibroid, but ONG says it's not an issue. We're thinking something exotic? Uh, possibly a mosquito-borne viral illness. <coughs> Try again. I'd just like to take a look at your tummy, if that's OK. Mm, Colombia, eh? Hey, Shakira's from Colombia, right? <laughs> she rocks. I wish I had her moves on the dance floor. But still, I like... I like traditional music too. White cells? Raised here, cinephils. You come from Bogota, yes? See, si, yes. Do you have family in the country? My family come from further south, Villa Vicencio. They have a farm there. Mm. Sometimes the water's not so good? Sometimes, no. Mm. I think you have a parasite, a little worm that's making you ill. We call it schistosomiasis. Uh, we'll test for that now, um, and we can treat you very easily, OK? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <coughs> How sure are you? Uh, vesicles on her arm, cell count, dry cough, enlarged liver and spleen. We'll leave the last test for Kip, though. Oh, no problem, boss. What's that? IDing the eggs of the parasite in her stool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll commence Prezi Quattle, all right? What can I say? Bravo, Sarah. Big day tomorrow. Big case. I'm reattaching fingers some other surgeon couldn't manage. Shall we have an early night? I'm wide awake. Don't let us keep you up. They've got to have a nightcap. Not for me, thanks. Or me. Excuse me, ladies. Ethan's little games aside, you're not wanted. Really? I'm here, aren't I? That's because Ethan thinks it's hilarious you're trying to compete. No. He's turned on. Believe me. I know Ethan. Whatever sick fantasies Ethan used to indulge you in, they're dead and buried. You'll be out of here tomorrow. One of us will be. 
evening, I'm old ladies. We had a lovely little chat. Yeah, right. This game is over. It's boring. We can't have that. No, indeed. There is a chimney. I still don't know how it could climb back up there. There's no way that it could... Hang on. There's something there. A board or something. What is that? Okay, that's just creepy. What is it? A Ouija board. What's it for? It's used to talk to spirits of the dead. What was it doing in there? Get rid of it. Oh, it's like a kid's toy. It's not real. I don't care. I just, I want it gone. Hey, you're shaking. Shanti, it's okay, really. No, there's, there's more than one reason that I'm spooked at night. Why? There's something happened. Scotty thinks it's just problems at the house, but I'm not so sure. The previous owners, they died. A young couple, newly married. It's a murder-suicide. And Scotty thinks I'm just giving into superstition, but it's just been one thing after another. It's footsteps and there's stains underneath the wallpaper in the bathroom. Oi, Scotty's right. Okay, it is all just superstition, and this is just a dumb game. Absolutely, it's not real. Come on, tell you what, we'll give it a go. We're going to prove to you once and for all that it's all bull, okay? And no tricks from you to freak her out. Deal. Come on, we'll prove it once and for all. There ain't no such thing as ghosts. What do you say? I'm sorry, I know I shocked you. Too much of a shock, obviously. I know you think being a surrogate is a noble gesture, but to me, it's just weird. I'm sorry I feel that way, but I do. It's okay. I guess by most people's standards, it is weird. But even if I'm wrong, it's an act of love. To create a new life, to help friends achieve happiness as parents, it's well meant. So, no hard feelings. Friends, at least. No, wait, look, I just, I can't, I don't want to be without you, I love you. Nice diagnosing, by the way, schistosomiasis, eh? Yeah, um, I probably shouldn't be doing this now, but, um, I've decided that it's, it's time to stop it. I'm resigning. Why? Uh, because of this. Oh, it's just a tendon strain, I thought. No, it's not tendon strain. It's MS. Yes, yes, a touch of the old MS. I've been doing the denial thing for a while, but um, I'm getting to the stage where it's getting silly. You have multiple sclerosis? Yeah. And if that wasn't complicating my life enough, I appear to have got myself just a teeny bit knocked up. Is this all we're supposed to do? Mm hmm. I only mean to say something like, well, are there any spirits present? <laughs> nice one, Towns. You mean to be showing her that it's all bold, not scaring the proverbial out of her? I didn't do anything. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Maybe it's time we found out more. <sighs> do you have a message for us? Why should we get out? Bloodshed. Who is this? Okay, not funny. Not funny. Why would you even do that? I, Why? I didn't do it, I swear. Betty, Betty who? We've had enough of tonight. Yeah? I wish it'll get some sleep.
Where do you want us? Uh, would you two mind sharing the spare room? Fine by me. One more? Anyone joining me? Get us a drink. Cheers. More? Oh, no, you don't. Brookville. Drink. All of it. <coughs> See? Brooke will do anything it takes to please me, won't you, Brooke? Just name it and Brooke will do it. Anything. Anything at all. Fine. I know to get a taxi and find a hotel somewhere. I don't think so. In fact, if you're not prepared to accept the rules, maybe it's you who should leave. I thought I was going to have to come and drag you away from work. How are you feeling? Not so good. Uh, you shouldn't be working this late. Want something to eat? Um, yeah, if you think I can keep it down. Well, I'm going to try. Okay, then, I'll try. On the work thing. Yeah, um, you know, actually, on that subject, um, I've been thinking that maybe I have been pushing things a bit. Perhaps, top of my game, brilliant diagnostician that I am, I should consider taking a break. Great. Good decision. I thought you'd be pleased. It's all good news. Yeah, yeah, it's really good news that I'm as sick as a dog and I'm really tired because I have MS and then I go and get myself up the duff. Right now that just feels like the biggest mistake in the world. Hey. We're back at Shortland Street tomorrow at noon here on RTE1. Tomorrow also, George Clooney has spent years living the jet set life, but he's about to be brought back down to earth by love in the midweek movie Up in the Air tomorrow night at 9.35.